Everyone in Montana has smelt skunk spray at least once and knows the terrible smell, but few people know the chemistry behind the stench. But first, you must know some background information about skunks. Skunks have two anal scent glands on each side of the anus. The spray can be accurate from up to 10 feet away and is smelled in the parts by million. The two main components of skunk spray are thiols and thioacetates. Thiols are by far the most abundant in skunk spray. Thiols come from the Greek word theoin for sulfur. These are the most commonly associated thing with skunks because thiols are smelled by humans in parts per million. The most known thiols in skunks are C4H8S and C5H12S. Skunks only contain low molecular weight thiols. Thiols are created when a sulfur takes place of an oxygen in the hydroxyl group of an alcohol. Thiols are not very soluble in water, which is why washing clothes or dogs with water does not help and can even make it worse. The reason water makes the smell worse is because of thioacetates. Thioacetates are just acetate derivatives of a thiol. An acetate is a salt formed by acetic acid combining with a base. Thioacetates usually do not smell or smell very little until activated by water. This is why many dogs who have been sprayed by skunks will smell slightly after getting wet, weeks after it even got sprayed. The acetate in skunk spray is C6H10OS and is much less common than both of the thiols. Chemistry makes up everything we see and deal with every day. Skunk spray is no exception. Thiols, thiol acetates, and other minor components are all made naturally, but can be made in the lab. Humans have made stronger thiols with higher molecular weights that smell bad even compared to skunk spray. I researched more into this, and some of the components can be made, but many are not listed on whether or not they can be. Another time that thiols occur naturally is in garlic, which makes sense because of garlic's bad smell that can make your nose burn and eyes water. Skunks and garlic are not the only two, though. There are many plants and animals that use thiols in their production and lives, such as humans. Humans produce thiols in our sweat, which causes the bad smell. Thiols are commonly made using methane and hydrogen sulfide to make methane thiols, which are used in natural gas to make sure that humans can smell a leak. Thiols often react with mercury, number 80 on the periodic table, to create mercaptides. Chemistry once again proves to be king by making skunk spray useful and possible to make synthetically.